Hey everybody, we are at the largest cross in Texas. This is probably going to be a longer video than I usually have because here in Groom, Texas, they have the stages of the cross. So I'm going to try to make this, uh, sorry about the wind if it's messing with it. Okay, here we got Jesus before Pilate. And he's washing his hands. All right. The first stage of the cross, he was, of course, you know the story. And the second stage of the cross. I don't know if you can read that. The sun's kind of glaring. It says he emptied himself and took the form of a slave being born in the likeness of man, Philippians 2, 7. We've got the third stage of the cross. I don't know if that's coming in, it says I looked about, but there was no one to help. I was appalled that there was no one to lend support. Isaiah 63, 5. This is really cool. That cross is humongous. All right, the fourth stage of the cross. And it says... Jesus meets his mother Mary for he has looked upon his servant in her lonely lowliness all ages to come shall call me blessed she gave birth to a son a male child destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod revelations 12 5 I think that's in the Catholic Bible what we're reading I'm pretty sure this is a Catholic deal but it's still cool. All right. The fifth station of the cross. A man called Simon of Cyrene was coming in from the fields and they pressed him into service to carry the cross. All right. The sixth station of the cross. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus, then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or see you thirsty and give you drink? Matthew 25, 37. Very nice. The seventh stage of the cross Jesus falls the second time he himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross so that free from sin we might live for righteousness by his wounds you have been healed 1st Peter 2 24 the eighth station of the cross a great crowd followed him including women who lamented over him Jesus turned and said do not weep for me weep for yourselves and for your children Luke 23 27 and 28 the ninth station of the cross I am like water poured out, all my bones are racked. My throat is dried up like dried clay. My tongue cleaves to my jaws, to the dust of death. You have brought me down. Psalms 22, 15, 16.
the tenth station of the cross. Jesus is wrapped, is stripped of his garments. They took his garments and divided them four ways, a share for each soldier. John 19, 23. the 11th station of the cross indeed many dogs surround me a pack of evildoers closes in upon me they have pierced my hands and my feet I can count all my bones Psalms 22 17 through 19 wow The twelfth station of the cross, Jesus cried out a loud voice, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. I think this is pretty cool. Okay, here they are at the Last Supper. That's supposed to be Philip, Andrew, there's Peter, Jesus, of course, John the Apostle, James, and that would be Judas. He's got his hand in the money bag. All right. Here's the crucifixion. I mean, I think this is done by the Catholics, but it's well done. As long as you don't have a problem with graven images. Like, anyhow, okay. This is the unrepentant. This is, of course, Jesus, King of the Jews. And here's the repentant servant reaching out for Christ. All right, on this other side here, they have a uh, the empty tomb, and then we'll be done. Sorry, I don't know how to edit anything, or I'd cut this out. We got a couple buses. Lots of people visit this place, evidently. All right, sorry I'm rushing everything. I just want to get it all in. I see the angel, so we must be close to the empty tomb. Hello. Yep. Look at here. There's the angel. The stone was rolled away. Why seek ye the living among the dead? Oh, and here's an angel in here. Look at this. He's not here, folks. He's risen. Praise the Lord. All right, that's a tour of the largest cross in Texas. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I had to rush around it like that. But Lord bless you. 
and have a wonderful day. Read your Bibles and pray without ceasing. God bless you, folks.